it was 2019 when oh, it happened. It was a sunny summer day with my Spanish suegra when she looked me up and down and said, Jessica, you look like a Barbie. <laughs> if you would have been there, you would have seen the biggest smile in Catalonia. Because my whole life, I have wanted to feel beautiful. Can anyone relate? <laughs> Woo! Yeah. And we're not allowed to admit that we want to be beautiful because that's superficial. But I had these little dolls that didn't look a lot like me, except for they were tall. They were missing ribs, and I more like to eat ribs. <laughs> <laughs> and so to be called beautiful and thin felt really good. Fast forward, March 2020. I'm a Barbie girl in a COVID world. Life in confinement, it ain't fantastic. <laughs> Everything changed from one day to another. That dream that I had just recently achieved meant nothing anymore because the taxes were due the socks didn't pick themselves off the floor, and the neighbors loved reggaeton. <laughs> and I couldn't handle it. And I went to Elena, my brave, smart, beautiful Catalan mother-in-law. And Elena, 50 years earlier, she did something that very few of us could do. She fell in love with a tall, dark, too dark man 50 years ago in Spain. And she married a Nigerian man. And she had four beautiful Nigerian children. And they got a new apartment, a three bedroom apartment. And the night before the family would come to see their new home, he didn't wake up. And Elena raised four little children on two euros a week, alone. And when I was going through the difficulties of COVID, she would say to me, Jessica, embrace the whole life. And I thought, I oh, know, but you don't understand. And during this time, I really dedicated myself to the Canadian national sport. Tell me what that is. Hockey? No. Canoeing. Canoeing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no wonder Americans think we're boring. <laughs> donut eating. <laughs> Canadians eat the most donuts out of any country in the world. Yes, you wouldn't understand. We have six months of snow. <laughs> we need the sweet comfort. It's like a hug on a cold Canadian day. And during COVID, I grew. Depth and profundidad, profundidad. And when it was tough, and I didn't know how to deal with life and love and being confined and having lost everything I'd worked so hard for, Elena would say, Jessica. Apparently she's Italian. <laughs> How do you do a Catalan accent? <laughs> Jessica, that's German. <laughs> Who's Catalan? Someone say, Jessica, embrace your whole life. <laughs> Any Catalans? It's not a Catalan crowd usually. It's <laughs> Jessica, embrace your whole life. I'll work on that. And I thought, yeah. and I would eat more donuts. And I started to understand a little bit more about what she was talking about. And one day as I was laying on the couch, melodramatic, entitled, middle-class white girl in her problems, I thought I could almost taste, I could almost see the truth of what she said. And as I looked up at her through the hole, 
I realized, hello, life is like a box of donuts. Each one has got a hole. And then I kind of went, oh, hallelujah. My life, me, is like a donut, like 80% delicious, gooey, wonderful. And then there's that 20%. And most of us don't even realize that we have this hole and we try and stuff it like a Kardashian. And then we try to fill it up with Amazon next day delivery or we try to sprinkle it with bling bling because it hurts to realize that we're not whole and that life will never be whole. But tomorrow is not guaranteed. And I don't know what your dream is. I realized that my Barbie girl dream was a little bit plastic because after three years of Barbie working from home in pajamas, I turned into a new version. Chubby Barbie. Chabarb. <laughs> <laughs> and I grew and I got a lot of love handles in my life and I've never been happier because I realized what can we do Except, except, and we might have things to do in this lifetime. I would like to open a donut shop and die 20 years younger. You might want to open a coffee shop. Call me. And the smile on Elena's face when I finally understood, embrace your whole life. She was talking about the whole, the whole time. <laughs> or she wasn't, and I'm just a donut philosopher because I'm a Canadian, it's in my blood. I don't know exactly, but I came out of COVID. <laughs> and girls, chubby Barbie, she still gets a Ken, he's bald. She still gets a convertible, B-Sing. And she still gets her dream home on the seventh floor of 40 meter square apartment with no elevator and a Champlain scared them. <laughs> <laughs> Dreams do come true. <laughs> so for all of us who are thinking and focusing on the whole, embrace that whole and life becomes a little bit easier and a lot happier and you don't have to go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.